Hey guys, what's up? Hotuck here with something really different for me. It's called Eternal Sonata. So this is a uh, JRPG game. If you don't know what that is, it's a Japanese RPG. I mean, simple as that. I play things that are kind of similar to this. I played RPGs before. Um, yeah, I know. Ooh, let's see. I must do this. And it's for the person who means the most to me. My life is nothing compared to his. Oh, no! Doing this is easy if it's for him. What? Don't jump off. Crazy. Another one down. Senpai, don't do it! I know it didn't last very long. But really, this was the best time I've ever had in my life. Ever had what? If I blow him a kiss, I wonder, will it reach him up there? Maybe. No, I guess it won't. Guess not. Hmm. Alright, so basically, from what I understand... The rippling ah, of flowing wait. water transforms the soft light of the morning sun. The beams combine, becoming a spotlight that paints the stage. Squirrel. The flowers awaiting the curtain's rise display faces of bright red and brilliant yellow. They turn their ears to listen to the performance that is about to begin. Sleep. Now can Accompanied I talk? by ah. the gentle rhythm of a babbling brook, the birds begin to sing. Meanwhile, a mischievous sea breeze causes a rustling amidst the leaves of the trees, disrupting the concert. It is a familiar scene, one that has unfolded every morning it's since the beginning though, huh? of time. And even now, the daily overture continues. Its delicate, perfect balance, never faltering, never changing. In the midst of this joyous orchestration, at the center of the morning's discordant musical performance, lies a small village nestled deep in the wood. The name of the village is Tenuto. It sits atop a hill which overlooks the coastline. Tenuto? In fact, the town is only about four miles from the sea. Hmm. Tenuto is very lucky in this regard, for the town enjoys a wonderful cool breeze and a view that is nothing short of amazing. Then there are the flowers. They seem to blossom almost everywhere hmm. in the town. Looks pretty cool. They paint the landscape with color as far as the eye can see. And they are the reason Tenuto is also known by another name. The Village of Flowers. You don't say. There is a harbor town at the foot of a hill that can be seen from Tenuto. When night falls, the lights from the town shine like diamonds. And 
open the hearts of those who gaze upon their illustrious splendor. Under talk normal now? Ah, come on. one might expect to find a bustling shopping district for tourists in a village as beautiful as this one. However, no such shops are to be found, not here. In fact, the village is quite calm, almost strangely quiet. It is a place that exudes a peaceful tranquility. A tranquility that further increases its allure, as well as its mystery. Mystery. When I get the chance, I'll explain. Is that the girl that jumped off? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Most likely. Mommy, why are there waves in the sea? Well, darling, there are waves because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just Not can't Not exactly, sit still. but that's Is that true? true really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! Mm. What about the puddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean, before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves, too? The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about Knew people it, as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, JRPG. People who are drawn to these things create waves, and the fear in their hearts makes the waves grow bigger and stronger. The more people there are, the bigger the waves can become. And as the number of people grows, the waves grow bigger and bigger. And that can lead to terrible conflicts. That's why you gotta calm down, Shyma. This is probably too, too hard for you to understand. I guess. But if something like that ever were to happen during your life, your only choice might be to jump into that I sea. Guess that's what I do. Because when you do, those big waves will calm down. It may be difficult at times, but if you try your best, you'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? Okay. Yes. Though it's insulting to compare seawater stirred by the beauty of the moon to the ugly waves of human desire. <sighs> I, I told you. Crazy. Can I please talk now? 1849. Alright, these cutscenes are kind of long. I mean, it's kind of cool, but... He seems to have calmed down, hasn't he, Doctor? He doesn't look like he's in pain the way he did before. 
It seems as though he must be having a pleasant dream. Yes. Well, that would be nice. It would be even better if that means he's headed towards recovery. A full recovery. Yeah, that would. It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. What are you talking about? How can you say that? <laughs> I apologize. Hopefully, it's just an old wives' tale. Poor Nari. Frederick. No, I'm just curious. Do they create these names before um, Chapter One Rangers? I'm trying to figure out what to call it for these videos. We call it Chapter One, Part One. Or just keep this one as welcome to. Chapter One, Raindrop Setting. It's gotta be her. Gotta be. Or sister. I guess I took longer than usual. Mom's probably worried about me. I'd better get home before it gets dark. Can't get the signs, okay? Let's go. Alright. Woo! Don't tell me how to play. Ah, crap! Oh, wait, let's look at that for a second. Why, eh? Polka. So I guess that's her name. Level 1, no. So let me try to explain. So basically, from the tiny bit that I actually understand, this game. Okay. This game is about this composer dude who's having a beautiful dream right before he dies. Or might die? Um. Battle time? The animals that live in the forest around here aren't really very strong. Yeah, so pretty much so you're dream before you dies, you're playing through it. Trouble. But just to be safe, it's supposed I'll to be like amazing music all throughout the game. game. So uh should be sweet. Yeah, I've no Let's idea. Let's see. The turn order goes from fastest to slowest, right? It looks like it's my turn now. I should try moving around a bit to start with. Oh, all right, awesome. Until this action gauge runs out of time, I can move around to anywhere I want. Okay. The action gauge only decreases when I'm actually doing something. So if I don't know what to do next, I can stop and think hmm. about it without losing my turn. Moving so. around isn't the only thing I can do. I can attack enemies, too. This time, I think I'm going to try using the attack button. Do I have to be close to them though? Alright, won't let me move, so I guess I have to. Wow. Now I've got it. I'm starting to remember how to do this more oh my and more. Gosh. There's also one other thing about the action gauge. Every time so one of my attacks hits an enemy, the action gauge goes up a little. Which means that the more I attack my enemies, the more extra wait, 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 time wait, wait, I'll wait. get That's to keep too on fast. moving and fighting. Wait, 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 wait. All right. wait. Ah, I think maybe it. it's time to try attacking. Then you have to read all of it. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't help. Wait! It looks like all the time in the action gauge has run out already. I guess that means my turn is over. I guess I'll just have to wait until it becomes my hmm. turn again. Um, oh, that's block. right. I almost forgot about that. When the next arrow appears overhead like this, it means that my turn will be coming up next. That way I have time to prepare, and I won't be surprised by it suddenly becoming my turn. Okay, it's my anything. turn again. I feel sorry for this little guy, but I guess I'd better finish him off. Poor radish, dude. Oh yeah. Where's his health bar, anyway? Oh 
There we go. Hey, look out! By pressing the block button when an enemy attack is going to hit me, yeah, well, I can you didn't defend tell me how to do that. But I have to get the timing just right, so I really need to concentrate. And if I want to run away, I just have to press and hold down LB and RB at the same time when it's my turn. But I need to hold okay. down the buttons during my entire turn, so I have to watch for the next arrow. That way, I can start holding down LB and RB before my turn even starts, or else okay. I might not be able to get away. Well, I haven't taken any damage yet. I think that so, pretty much covers all the basics of Where's fighting. his health bar? Okay, I'm almost done. I just have to keep at it. Eat! Umbrella! Woo! Yay! Um... Yeah. Alright, well, this is... Oh, that's safe. Alright. Why would they have this here too? Okay, guess we'll worry about that later. So yeah. Whoa. Just watch this. Oh, rat son. You found the ocarina. I mean, whatever that was. It's an interesting style. I, I, I like it. It's happy. Kind of. Path to Jimmy So I'm going to try to keep these to 30 minutes each. From what I can understand, it's supposed to be a decently long game. Get back, scrub! Crap. Ah! How you blood? Ah! It's supposed to be B to guard, but like. Do you hit it before he jumps? Uh, I'm gonna get wrecked for a while. Okay? Up and down through the forest, long we go. Where to? No one knows. Touch me. Fire attack was hard to try to block. Look at the beautiful plant. Yeah. Alright, there's no way she's like oh, a teenager even. I'm so tired. We'll show there us how to so heal. Many people living in Retardando. Why won't any of them? Retar really? Me? And now, Retardo? Is that what it's called? Messed up. Hi. Hey, we are you here, Punk? I'm gonna eat your free tiff. Don't, don't do it. No, I don't wanna. Please. No, I don't wanna. Yeah. I see. 
I guess you don't want to be touched by me either. Nope. Stupid girl. Look at my nuts. Come and buy some of Tenuto's famous floral powder. It works very well. I didn't tell him what the Please, floral powder does yet. Really want to test it out. And I can't move. Floral powder? Hmm. I didn't know people still made that. What with the mineral powder we can get these days? Why would anyone smack need you in that the face? Girl now, I don't mean to be rude, honey. But floral powder just isn't useful anymore. You, pig. Push her in the ocean. Do it, you won't. Hmm. I guess no one around here wants to buy it. Nope. Ow! Hey, what was that for? What's your problem? Uh, but I didn't do anything. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh-huh. Oh, no! Should I help him or let him sit on the ground? Ah, he's okay. Hello? Are you all right? No, I'm not alright. What? Just... Well, did that help? Does it feel any better? S stay away from me! You wish! <laughs> Don't touch me! <laughs> wow! Did you see that, Mom? She was glowing! Come back here right now. Never go near anyone that glows like that girl did. Do you understand me? But why? Because I said so, that's why. Now come on. Hmm. Um, let's check this out. Peach cookie, eh? Yet it shows as a potion, but we'll go with it. So, yeah. Just watch this. Mouse. Stealing gold from radish people, but we love it. Woo! Love up! It's Pikachu! Um, do I press A? Okay. Yeah. The floor power has to be like your healing stuff. Tic tac toe throw. Yeah, taste of brother! Really? Whoa, I'm more time, huh? Crap! No! Um, not all attacks are avoidable, but that's okay. All right then. Yeah. Are we going the right way or not? Maybe. Hope so. Oh, kitty cat. Dude with the awesome stash, give him props. Yeah, I found it. I want some achievements. Can 
Is that really her hair? Because that's crazy if it is. We talked to the old fart. I mean, lady. Woo! Home gets nice. Why don't we save? If this is saving spots for everything, yeah. it's this one, so let's try it. It's not the guy that we just helped. Why is he afraid of us? Let's just go here. That's gotta be her hair. That's crazy. A lot of dudes probably love that, though, so... guess so. Ooh, nice. Soup's on. Mommy? What you doing? Sorry also for the fan. It's way too hot down here. I got to have it on. Welcome and back, you know, Polka. In the background. Oh, you Can't must be exhausted. Tell that either. Sorry. I've made some nice hot stew. That's my pretty good voice acting so far. Yeah. Mom, do you? Are you afraid to touch me? What? You used your magic in Retardando, didn't you? Why does everyone yet. avoid me? Because they think they'll get sick if they touch you, even though it's not true. I'm living proof that it isn't true. After all, I live with you and I'm fine. And just watch, she'll get sick and die. Don't want that to happen, but I won't be surprised. I... I'm not afraid of dying from the illness, Mom. It's just, well... I'm just sad that no matter what I do, I can't make any friends. Sure you can, just don't touch anyone. You shouldn't oh, be touching God. your friends anyway, I might tell your parents. Oh, jeez. I went there. So I still don't know why we're attacking those like turn up cabbage looking dudes, whatever they're called. Beat! Run! Hold on, Riddle! Wait for me! Hey, you! Where are you going with my bread? I'm still giving you food. It's those brats again. Maybe I should poison the dough next time. You should. Keep them away. I'm gonna poison you too, Cupcake. Everyone has awesome hair though, even though they're poor. Don't forget that. Never one rule. Oh boy. That was a close one, Reddo. Nah, that was easy. Sure was. Easy? Jeez, if that's what you call easy, I'd hate to see you hard. <laughs> uh... Don't worry. Come on. Let's deliver the bread. I'm sure everybody's getting hungry. Oh, I bet they are. Yeah, okay. But I don't like the rats down there. Come Those on, look like nice expect? clothes to me, I mean, so like, in the ain't sewers. feathers sticking out of his arm? Like... Rat or two. How are you poor? And plus, we're carrying fresh baked bread. You don't have to be a rat to want a bite of this. Well, what do we do if we get attacked? And awesome galoshes too? I mean, come on. Don't let a few rats get you all freaked out. Hey, I took care of them the last time, didn't I? I don't know, did Yeah, you? I guess. Besides, the people lucky enough to live in houses aren't the ones who need us to take bread to them. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, these guys join a party at some point too. That'd be pretty awesome. Fight with those guys, switch from dude to dude, or maybe it's like a tag team theme. Something like that. That looks just like your mom, but I'm just saying. 
Retardo, yay! Touchy, touchy, feel it, feel it, yeah. Hi. Wish you could attack him right before on, like some other RPGs. Let's but take anyway. care of these guys. Reto, can you tell me what it is we have to do to fight again? What? Wait a minute. I thought I taught you all that. Yes. Did you forget already? Uh, well. <sighs> Why not? Okay, fine, but I'm not explaining the basics uh, again. You will, you will, you will. Huh? If I tell you, you will, you will. There we go. First off, how to use items. You press LB and RB to rotate through items you've got okay. equipped until you get to the one that you want to use. Then you just have to press the item button. That isn't too hard, is it? No, I get it, Riddle. Special attacks. Next, I'll show you how to use special attacks. There really isn't Put much to it. All you have to do is press the special attack button, and you can't use them up or anything, so you can use them as often as you want. Awesome. Anyway, I'm going to show you how it's done, so pay attention, okay? Sun Slash! Yeah, but you're not near him, though. Just move in close to the enemy and use your special attack. You'll finish him off in no time with an attack like that. Okay. You understood dude. all that, right? Yeah, sure. To use your special attack, you just have to press the special attack button, right? Yes, sir. My dark places. Okay, one last thing. Listen close, because I'm going to teach you something super important about special attacks. Make sure you remember this. Now take a good look at what you see around us, Beat. Even though we're inside a sewer, there are some places that are light and some places that are dark, right? Um, you see, yeah. the thing with special attacks is, depending on whether the place where you're standing is in the light or in the dark, the special attack you can use will change. What? I don't get it. What do you mean? If you're standing so what, we'll in sunlight be like night or some other bright place, in the dark? you'll use a light special attack. But if you're standing someplace that's dark, Probably. like in the shade, then you'll use a dark special attack. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you for right now. Come on, let's go, Beat. Oh, get right! I'm gonna end the first episode there. So thanks for watching. I think it's pretty cool so far. Um, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna continue this uh right away, right, right, right away, like <laughs> right after this. Now you're playing around. So till next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out.